Hello friends. Welcome to my new AngularJS tutorial series video. Today, we will learn about Bootstrap CSS buttons. Friends. In order to use Bootstrap CSS, we have to download it. In Google search, type Bootstrap download. Go to, getbootstrap.com and click on download bootstrap it will get you to a page where you can download bootstrap in zip format save the file go to download folder and unzip the downloaded file in the dist folder you can see it has a CSS folder. This CSS folder contains all the Bootstrap CSS files. Just copy all the files, for this tutorial, I will copy only two CSS files. In NetBeans Angular JS tutorial project, let's create a folder inside root folder. Provide a name to it as CSS. This folder will be storing all our CSS files. Let's paste all the CSS files into this folder. In order to demonstrate how Bootstrap CSS buttons gets rendered, let's create a new HTML file inside root folder. Provide a name to it as Bootstrap Buttons. Open the file. Provide a title to it as Bootstrap Buttons. In the div element, in order to use Bootstrap CSS, we have to include both Bootstrap CSS files. Just drag and drop files into the head section of HTML. First let's create button without bootstrap CSS. Let's run this file. You can see it has created a button without bootstrap CSS. Moving ahead. Now let's create buttons with Bootstrap CSS. First let's see Bootstrap Basic Button. In order to use Bootstrap Basic Button, we have to provide a class attribute to button element. This class attribute will take in the name of Bootstrap CSS class. Thus, it will provide rendering to button through that class. For basic button, we will use btn class of Bootstrap CSS. Save the file. And on the browser you can see basic button rendered in a better way. Moving ahead. Let's create a primary button. The class used will be in combination of button class and button primary class. Save the file. And on the browser you can see how primary button is rendered. Now let's create a success button. The class used will be in combination of button class and button success class. Provide a name to button as success button. Save the file. And on the browser you can see how success button is rendered. Now let's create a info button. 
the class used will be in combination of button class and button info class. Provide a name to button as, info button. Save the file. And on the browser you can see how info button is rendered. Now let's create a danger button. The class used will be in combination of button class and button danger class. Save the file. And on the browser you can see how danger button is rendered. Now let's create a warning button. The class used will be in combination of button class and button warning class. Save the file. And on the browser you can see how warning button is rendered. Similarly, one last rendering is of toolbar button. Moving ahead. Suppose we want to create a large button. We can combine it with a class. Button large, denoted by btn-lg. Save the file. And on the browser you can see how large primary button is rendered. Suppose we want to create a small button. We can combine it with a class. Button small, denoted by btn-sm. Save the file. And on the browser you can see how small success button is rendered. Now suppose we want to make a button which covers entire horizontal space. We can combine it with a class. Button block, denoted by btn-block. Save the file. And on the browser you can see how info button covers complete space horizontally. Bootstrap CSS also provides a link button. Let's convert basic button to a link button. We can combine it with a class. Button link, denoted by btn-link. And on the browser you can see how link button is rendered. Thus, this tutorial was all about how bootstrap CSS buttons are rendered. In upcoming AngularJS tutorials, we will be using them frequently. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, bootstrap CSS buttons, concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.